Why can't I stop eating and how can I control my appetite? This is probably one of the most frequently asked questions from my new weight loss clients. So here are five reasons why you can't stop eating and how to control your appetite so you can finally conquer weight loss once and for all. Not getting enough fiber. One of the best natural appetite suppressants is fiber. Now, fiber doesn't break down as quickly as other foods, so it stays in your body longer, which will help to control your appetite. Fiber helps to slow down your digestion, making you feel full throughout the day. One of the best weight loss foods are avocados, which are a great source of fiber as well as healthy fats. This is gonna make you feel full for a longer period of time and is gonna help to control those cravings, especially sugar cravings. Other sources of fiber include beans, lentils, broccoli, almonds, and chia seeds, which are another great weight loss food. You're feeding your emotions. Learn to recognize the difference between true hunger and emotional hunger. One of the ways that you can do this is by keeping a food journal, because this can really help to unveil patterns of overeating and why you can't control your appetite. A food journal will help you make the link between true hunger and emotional hunger. So how do you spot the difference between true hunger and emotional hunger? Well, it could look a little bit something like this. You could be at your desk working hard and lunchtime hits. You know that you probably should go get something to eat, but you're trying to meet a deadline. So instead you delay eating that lunch. That is true hunger. True hunger is something that you can typically delay and it comes on more gradually versus emotional hunger, which is more sudden and you almost feel ravenous, like you need to cater to it right away. With emotional eating, you're more likely to keep eating even though you're full versus physical hunger, where you can probably stop eating once you're full, usually. The next time you feel like snacking on a sweet treat or a salty snack, ask yourself, what am I really hungry for? Drink yerba mate tea. Yerba mate tea is known as the tea of the gods, and studies show that it can help to reduce appetite as well as improving your mood. There are other studies that show that it helps to reduce your appetite when combined with high intensity exercise. Not only will it help with weight loss, it can help to improve your mental focus and energy as well. It's also great for digestion, which is key in weight loss, and also has lots of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants as well. Not getting enough sleep. Now, not getting enough sleep and you not being able to control your appetite are more closely connected than you may think. And that's because there's two hormones at play. When you don't get enough sleep, your body produces less leptin, which causes you to overeat, and it produces more ghrelin, which is that appetite-stimulating hormone. So if you've ever been able to not stop eating when you're tired, you probably experience these hormonal imbalances at work. Now, I don't know about you, but when I'm tired and when I don't get enough sleep, I crave carbs. Bring on the fries. Stop skipping meals. I don't care how busy you are, you are not doing yourself any favors when you skip meals. Because when you skip meals, it's gonna make you more likely to overeat later. It can also slow down your metabolism, which is gonna have the complete opposite effect of what you're trying to achieve. Try eating some high fiber and high protein snacks in between meals. Some of the things that I like to recommend to my clients are, apples and almond butter. And if you sprinkle a little bit of cinnamon on those apples, that's also gonna to help to control your blood sugar as well because cinnamon is great for that. You can also try hummus and veggies. Hummus is a great source of protein. Again, this is gonna to help to make you feel full. Another thing you can try is dark chocolate and almonds. Now you shouldn't just have the chocolate on its own. You really need a healthy fat like almonds or something that's high in fiber that's gonna to help to balance out your blood sugar. Finally, you can try a chia seed parfait. I'll place a link in the description below so you can grab it because chia seeds are an excellent weight loss food. So tell me in the comments below, which one of these tips will you start using to help to control your hunger and reduce your appetite? Imagine having the inside scoop on the top ways to lose belly fat. Well, that's why I put together seven ways to melt your muffin top fast. It's a free download with simple tips that are also backed by science. You can grab it by clicking on the link in the description below. Thanks for watching.